photo mode? No, no, video. Okay. All right, dude, yeah. Okay. Hey, James, all right. Hey, to him, man. Okay. Good, good. So, James is the director of a short movie he did as an assignment, and uh, it's an excellent film. Really good, man. Really Thanks. well Thanks. done. Me and some other friends were in it, and uh, yeah, it's been a really good, really good experience, man. You did a very good job, and I thought we could use this time like to speak about it, maybe. Yeah, of course. just uh, to see what, why you did it, what it meant to you, like what anything you want to say about it, man. Because so, it was a really good, yeah, interest, different idea as well. So right? I can, okay, I can start mm. by the origin. Mm. So it was a school assignment first and foremost, although uh, that didn't mean we were very limited. Okay. Actually, we were we had quite a lot of freedom uh, when it came to like the concept, the idea. Yeah. Because before it, we had a screenwriting class. So I wrote this as a script for a screenwriting class, and then we moved on to the next unit, which was actually producing the film. And uh, I had a few ideas floating around. And I was always like fascinated with sci-fi. In fact, the two films before this were sci-fi. One was the original script, the other was adapted from a Graham Greene short story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but it was essentially science fiction, existential, spiritual kind of uh, what, what, drew, what drew you to those? I, I think it's just, uh, in a way, it's very... It sounds very mature, sorry, man. It's no, great. no, no. I mean, yeah, it's very like intimate with like human nature. Okay. You know? But sci-fi, when someone says sci-fi, they always think, oh, it's just like spaceships and yeah. futuristic, aliens. Yeah. But sci-fi isn't really about that. Okay. Sci-fi is about humans. It's, uh, it's about thinking, imagining a, a world in the future, but commenting about today. Okay? Okay. okay. So it's like exaggerating something that already mm -hmm. exists. Yeah. For example, the like novel. Black Mirror. Yeah. For example, yeah. Black Mirror, there's the episode where they're like rating people, literally yeah, yeah, yeah. rating people. Yeah, like that's Facebook, that's not about. Media. That's not saying, oh, maybe in the future this is gonna happen. Yeah. It's like today this is happening on Instagram, yeah, yeah, on Facebook. Yeah. It's already happening. Yeah. That's what it means. Yeah. Uh, same thing with like George Orwell's uh, 1984. Yeah. But he wasn't writing it because he thought in 1984 it was gonna be like that. He was yeah, writing it, it because, was because he was warning people that if we go on like this. Like, no, now, like, he, he was criticizing totalitarianism, basically. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, it was a commentary on, like, yeah, exactly. society, yeah. On, on, like, the tyranny, yeah, yeah. tyrannical society. It was society. exaggerating it, so we yeah. can maybe see the worst yeah, exactly. outcome. So you, and, you see yeah. it laid out, as yeah, it would be yeah. if there was no, like, yeah. curtains, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and basically, yeah, anyway, so that's why I like sci-fi, and it's just, like, fun as well. It's kind of it's invigorating, it's kind of it's imaginative, it's creative, and... Yeah, it's and good, yeah, anyway, good. Marvin, it, it was just one, one of my ideas from my bag of ideas, kind of. Okay. And I was inspired by like Ex Machina, Black Mirror, obviously. For those who have seen them, it's really obvious. So Ex Machina as yes, well? Yes, yes, Ex Machina is a great film. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. What did you like about Ex Machina? Uh, I like the way, well, it explores like, uh, in the same way that Marvin does it. It kind of explores the difference between humans and robots. Yeah. Uh, but in a way, it explores humans as well. You know, that's a lot of films about AI. They're about how the brain, human brain works, how humans work psychologically. And in the same way, it's showing that, um, well, Ex Machina is showing that a, like a robot, uh, it can be like, like a human, but maybe even better than a human, right? It can be smarter and it, and it can deceive you very easily yes. if it understands how you work psychologically. Can I can I ask though, yeah. um, why why is that particular theme? Why did you choose to focus on that theme of a, of the robotic human relationship? Because I think it well apart from the whole side by aspect, I think it works also from like thriller mystery point of view. Do you want to do you want to just quickly lay out like the plot of Marvin just quickly okay, so, so we quickly can get back that's out. about this uh, programmer who comes up with the, this technology which actually is about to exist, thanks to Elon Musk, which I found out recently. Anyway, where you can install software into people's uh, neurological system, the yeah. brain, kind of. So it's like yeah. a melding biology with technology, mm -hmm. almost like a cyborg. Yeah. Uh, but more on a software level than a hardware level. And the main character who, Mar there's Marvin and the, ma and the main character is Steven. Steve, Steven and Dennis and is uh, the shadow who 
Yeah, well, if you're watching this, you've seen the film. The Shadow, we call him, he's an archetype called The Shadow, mm -hmm. which is a character that goes between good and evil, like you're not sure if he's good yeah. and evil throughout yeah. the film, and then he yeah. gets revealed if he's good and evil. Okay, and, and that's... He, he gets revealed to be the antagonist. And, yeah, so that's the story, basically. Um, he tries to cure this guy's mental illness with this program, and it turns out to uh, take over his brain. Yeah. And he becomes a robot from the inside. Basically. So that's the, the main... Yeah, we've given away the film yeah, pretty but much, but you've seen it. Yeah, spoiler alert, uh, it's I should have said it before. <laughs> you can just write it or something. <laughs> but it's good, it's good. Watch it anyway, it's good. Yeah, yeah. And so, yeah, so that was the overall theme and that's how you executed it. You executed it really well, you did a really good job in doing that. And then, we, so it was me um, playing one of the characters and then... Steven. Steven. <laughs> Yeah, and so then John, uh, John, John playing, playing Dennis. Playing Dennis, and then we have a few other side characters. Yeah, yeah Monica, Bella, yeah. Matthew, Flo, Steve. Yeah, <laughs> Stephen. And Steve. Uh, Steve, Steve. He was good. Steven was good. They're everyone all, was all, very good. Yeah, they're all good. There's no like bad apple that stands out. It's like, oh my god, like everyone's good, but there's this guy that no. They, yeah. they, they all worked, you know. Yeah. Even was... though like most of them weren't professional actors. But still work because I fit them into characters that they didn't need any particular really experience. You just yeah. need the right personality for yeah. it. Yeah, and the cool thing about this film is that we we worked with overall friends. Like so, all of us knew each other, yeah. and you just we just picked from our social group, and it was fun working like on the party scene in particular. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because yeah. we were like, and there was like a particular line you had there, like that kept coming up. What was that? What, what line? Uh, what was that? That line, freaky? like Flo said, freaky. Yeah, freaky. yeah. Freaky. Freaky. <laughs> and like that was in between takes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was, yeah. That we've, so like, it, we basically just hung out and it was really cool, man, just to hang out and just Yeah, do it that. was essentially a zero budget film. Yeah. You know, apart from the stuff I already had yeah. at home, maybe stuff that my friends had and the people I knew. Uh, apart from minor expenses like light bulbs for lighting, maybe some stuff, some equipment, but I bought it before, so it doesn't really count. It's essentially zero budget. Yeah. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. And it's amazing what you can do. So, like, uh, yeah. So I think you did a really good job. Did you encounter any difficulties? What would you change? Like, if you were to change something? And... I don't know if I change something. I mean, for what I have, there isn't like much more I could have done better. We could have, obviously, like, you can spend as much time as you like reshooting stuff. Yeah. Just to get the perfect shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's like... Do you feel you accomplished what you wanted to accomplish yeah, yeah, in yeah, the yeah, film? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. I think cool. it's a step up. Like, if you watch my two films before, it's much better in every aspect, I think. Even, even so each film, acting. you kind of learn something from it. Yeah, of course, of course. So yeah, like but the step. only reason the acting was different in this one is because you really pushed us like a work animal, man. You were like <laughs> bastard of a director. No. I'm joking, it was first. No, I was a diva. I was a bit too like. No, he was very lenient. Yeah, this yeah. is. It was like a. Um, James is very like kind, lenient yeah, director. Because, because, He's good, like, good guy. And it does. Like, I'm, I'm not paying anyone, so I don't. Have, I don't feel like I have the right to be like no. No you're man, like but that. Like, come on. no, it's it's good. It's, uh, like at some point, you know. <laughs> I don't know. I think it was nice. I, th I thought it was nice how you handle it. But like sometimes you definitely can say to people, you know? Okay. Sorry, truck. <laughs> sometimes you definitely can say to people. But anyway, um, but I think you did a really good job, man. Sorry if we gave you any shit. It's like, um, no, I can't, it's understandable. It's, it's not easy for anyone. When you're on a set, it's really hard. Like, uh, it's, it's all a matter of collaboration and like being really patient. Yeah. It's, it's very it's, technical, but at the same time, challenges. it's both like, the thing about filmmakers, it's very like creative and technical at the same time. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. It's just such a mesh of different things, different yeah. Uh, yeah. kinds of work, and everyone has their own like role. Yeah. There's yeah, like, a camera yeah. guy, and there's like the actor who has, he, like, <laughs> usually they know nothing about cameras. It's like <laughs> opposites kind of working together, right? Yeah. Just put me, put me in the it's camera. Like a, what it's like a very physical job. Yeah, yeah very just physical. A very like buttons, technical, and yeah, technical yeah. electronic yeah. thing. So it's, it's yeah. yeah, it's in, and you uh, you managed it well, man. Like uh, I think this is like a good example of like it's also 
managing like relationships and uh, like interpersonal relationships it's kind of like an office you know yeah, you're yeah. in an office for like a really condensed period of time doing this really yeah that's a good, thing. good flow between yeah. each other good, yeah like co yeah. communication collaboration yeah it's all yeah. about teamwork yeah the teamwork yeah teamwork yeah, like, is like a big aspect like when some when people watch big films I, I don't like when they give like credit to the director only like oh my god this film is so amazing the director is the best like you know how many people worked on that film? It's like a few hundred people, mm. if not a thousand people. You did a really good job of like um, supporting, making sure everyone felt like they were like. So, so you did a really good job, man. You like took a, you took a lot of shit. It's sickly, dude. You took a lot of shit. But it's not easy. Is, it's not easy. But I think the, you, the satisfaction you get at the end, you're like, I managed to do something. Yeah. You know? Did you did you feel you got something from it? Yeah, of course, of course. I think so it's my, my best work for now. Oh. Although it's still, I'm still in my early stages of filmmaking and. It's visible by the film in some ways, more technical ways than anything. But so you started out doing a lot of like YouTube. Can I talk about this? You said that there was other stuff you tested earlier on. Before oh yeah, yeah. You I used like... to do a lot of small video, like short videos, like rubbish. No man, it's not rubbish. But the, well, like the, the thing is, like, the, <laughs> no, no, no. Like the the initiative to do something was that, like, from a like, you did really cool shit, man. Yeah, really well, cool. it was born out of boredom. Actually. Yeah, yeah, no. But like a lot of people, <laughs> like some people might do other things, like I don't know, planting trees or like. Oh, that's that's especially boring. That makes, yeah. that's like if you're bored and then you start planting trees, you get trees you get even more bored. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> like I'm bored. Okay, I'm just gonna plant some trees. Wow, just watch it grow. Really, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just watch the tree grow. That's and so yeah. Sure myself. So where do you? Cool, good song. Um, where do you see uh, yourself going from this place then? Just continue, you know, just next project. Have you got anything in mind? Have you got anything like, uh, did it, do you get inspired, man? What makes, uh, this is, I've got loads of questions also. Like, uh, what makes you inspired? Like, what inspires you to do? Well, just like storytelling in general and the whole creative aspect, because I've always been like artistic and yeah. tried everything. Yeah. Uh, painting, like illustrating, yeah. uh, sculpture, acting. Uh, you did acting. Acting, recently. yeah. Uh, but that. about like fine arts, I'm talking for now. Yeah. Uh, sculpture, jewelry, yeah. uh, geometry, architecture, everything yeah. that you can think of. Yeah. And I landed upon this as being my favorite. And yeah. And uh, you're at you're studying now at uh, MCAS. Yes. So. I've one year left. You've one year left. So if I'm not if I'm not mistaken, the third year is uh, another short film. Okay, cool. I think. Man. Cool, cool. I cool. think. Unless they change it, because if they're Do you kind feel of change like uh, uh, studying has helped? Uh, yes, um, I think, yeah, yeah, no, definitely it has. As a, as a beginner director, you're starting out? I yeah, but yeah. I, I'm, I'm not depending on it. It's not like, okay, I'm, I'm just going to go to school and what I learn in the class. Yeah. I'm gonna apply and like everything outside is just like laying on the couch. But it's given you the space it's, to maybe create yes. stuff. Yeah, no, exactly. It's, that's good. That's a good thing about the school. It gives you a lot of room. Although there's still a lot of like chore, homework chore, to do. Yeah. It's like oh, you just yeah. have to do it because it's like for school. You have to write this thing. And that, that's some of it like gets in the way and it's like time consuming. For, yeah. For, you know, for at least the things I want to learn. Uh, but there's still a lot of room for you to develop, like to work on, for example, a short film. Because the short film, at the end of the day, it's only one assignment. Okay. School is much, about much more than just a short film. Mm -hmm. But that's what I, I'm most interested in. Yeah, okay. And uh, I, I don't know how long the iPhone camera... Sure. I'm going to just... Just do a cut. No, it's still filming. It's okay, still filming. Still filming. <laughs> okay, I don't know how long we have. It's 13, but I think it goes for a little bit. Anyway, um, I'm just going to ask... Just a couple more questions, man. So, like, uh, so yeah. So, where do you want to go with film? What, why, why are you doing film, man? Like, what is it? Why are you doing film? Come on, because I've, I've asked you some before, but why? Okay, so go on. I explained that the uh, how I started. Yeah, you explained how you started. And I think it's just like I don't know. Some people they're kind of naturally creative. Okay. And you land on something that you prefer more than other. Okay. As a media. And I don't know, it's just exciting, it's fun, it's very, very creative, imaginative, and like, there's just more to do. What would be the ultimate film. thing you like, could do? I think, like, okay, this is like okay. very yeah, yeah, controversial, so right. I think like, just a still picture yeah. is nothing compared to a movie. Dude, this is exactly right? why I got into, can I just say this, this is exactly <laughs> why I got into acting, because when I used to, we have, we have the same kind of background, because I used to draw as well, I used to be an artist, painter. 
and then I was painting and like I drew like just normal portraits yeah. and I was like fuck man like where am I gonna go with this like it's great what am I gonna do like photorealism a robot could do that you know like yeah, there's but, it's, and, but like in with, itself it's with fine film, as a medium no it's great it's beautiful more for me like it's beautiful I, I love it yeah but like you can't you know, do much with painting yeah it's you can't you can do a lot but there's so much more you can do with yeah. film and I think maybe this one yeah I and think, acting like, to me is it's expressive you know so also, art is beautiful. I love painting as well. But yeah, yeah, of this course. This has, a, has course. a really broad medium. Yeah, that's the thing. It's broad. There's just a lot, a lot of aspects, as I said before, like technical and stuff. Yeah. And it involves so many different uh, arts and crafts. It's just like uh, every time you do a film, it's like yeah. a big, um, just a big workload. Yeah. You know. Kind of yeah. Thing. That's. And it's a, like uh, okay. this big project. Yeah. It's just exciting to have everyone work together and then have this final like film that you can just sit back and enjoy yeah, and it's just there, it's cool. preserved in history, so it's like online, if you want to see it. Nice. And so just you, you get other people involved and it's a medium that a lot of people like video is the future. Yeah. Video is now, not even the future, it's now. Like now the thing that's going is video film. Uh, mostly like short, stupid videos, but <laughs> film is becoming almost a niche. Like actual uh, deep kind of quote yeah. unquote deep mm. like meaningful stuff. Yeah, but but still, it's it's a evolving medium and it's exciting uh, field to be in. Okay, and so this I asked this before, but like where where are you going with your films? What do you want to film? How to do, do features? You want to feature do feature films? films? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Um, in the immediate future, what do you see yourself doing? Like well, like well. How do you, how short do you... film. I'll, I'll do uh, when I finish my school. Then I'll look for uh, maybe some job working for some production company, and Shit, I'll just man. try to get to the top. You You're know? really ambitious. Uh, that's how you do it. That's how you do it. Yeah. But probably abroad. I, I might start here, but I'm aiming towards abroad. Okay. Like probably Britain, and then okay. maybe use that as a jumping pad for Hollywood. Okay. Although it's not like I'm oh yeah I want to do like Hollywood movies. Yeah, it would be no, cool, but, but like, like ultimately, for European like, cinema is fine for me as well. You know, I mean, yeah. not that it's any worse, but I, I don't mind as long as yeah. I can do my own films. I don't mind where I end up. That's what I'm saying. That's awesome, man. Like, so basically, that's the dream of every yeah. director is that it's the ultimate aim that's kind of to make your. But what do you think of YouTube as well? Because YouTube has a lot of like potential to. Yeah, but the thing about YouTube is like short films. Media. They're not big on YouTube. Okay, you can do feature. Yeah, okay, if I do a feature, I like I would post it everywhere, not only on YouTube. Okay, you know what I mean? But like okay, YouTube yeah, yeah. as it in yeah. itself, short films is not really what's what's going strong. It's just another channel for them to be short on. Okay. Cool. cool. Uh, but it's not the focus like I wouldn't focus on YouTube. Okay. Unless you're an already established like there are a lot of like VFX uh, yeah. channels that do like these skits, like five minute, ten minute skits. That's fine. They're like short films, but I'm not. When I'm more into like cinema, not skits. Cinema's nice. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Okay. Cool, man. All right. So. Ask anything else about Marvin? Yeah. Let's ask some other things about Marvin. Let's do that. What would you like to say about Marvin? What do you want to ask? <laughs> okay. What can I ask about Marvin? So, um, in making it. Um, you used a group of actors and then you had a couple of other friends who were working with you. Yeah, crew members. Crew, so there was John was working there. And Matthew. Matthew? Yep. Yeah, and uh, how did they, how did you guys get together and like. Well, I, uh, well, John is a guy I met who was like into film, we just met randomly through, someone, through John the actor, the both called John, by the way. Uh, and I don't know. He's he's basically doing the same thing I do. He's like doing short films. Yeah. And uh, like, good team though. It was good yeah, team. Yeah. And we just I just was like, hey man, I'm doing my short film. Do you want to join? He's like, yeah, sure. And he just showed up. And he was kind of this consultant because he has like more experience than I do. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know exactly how much, but yeah. like he, he's done a bit more like professional kind of work. Yeah. I've been more of like I've been doing film longer than he has, but more amateurish yeah so he's so he's, we both have our own kind of yeah strengths I think yeah so it was useful to have him there yeah because he has a more of a awareness of like the standards of film like you know if you use this camera this lighting this grain like it would look a bit more amateur yeah or this the shot from here is better 
So very good man. On a, on a, yeah, on, he was helpful um, for the majority good guy, good guy, uh, yeah. of the time on the technical aspects. Yeah. But, but well. in all aspects anyway, I'm not saying it was. Yeah. <laughs> no, they put in a lot of work into doing it. And, and Matthew really is a good. very technical guy. Yeah, Matthew's in the film. Yeah, he was he was he was only like an actual crew member one day, which is the party scene. Yeah. Uh, but he did help out by coloring it. Yeah. It's the coloring. Yeah. For most of the scenes. Yeah. Um, and he was in the scenes. So. Yeah, and he was acting as well. Yeah. He was the guy who gets shot. Boy, <laughs> 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 Shot, you got shot really well though. Yeah, very he, good. That's a point blank. Yeah, and he had an issue with the shirt there for a while. He was wasn't sure whether the shirt was too. Yeah, but I thought it was good, man. I thought Matthew that was a good yeah. shirt, man. You look jacked in that. You look jacked, dude. Like there's some ladies potentially coming your way. Anything else? About, um. <laughs> shit, uh, right. Yes. Yeah, so about Marvin, I think. Uh, yeah. What What would you like to say about Marvin, man? I think it was a good, a good overall film. What would you like to say? Is there anything you'd like to clarify? I don't know, I think the, the one of the important things yeah. about Marvin, which is also one of its faults in a way, mm -hmm. is the tension. Because I think the story is, is constructed more as a feature film story. Mm -hmm. And a short film, obviously, you cannot uh, develop a story and characters at the same level. Yes. Because, of, because it's short, then, yeah. obviously. And so, in a way, it's like when you watch it, uh, sometimes I, I I I think like damn this would be like really good if it were feature, mm -hmm. you know in a way. Yeah, but in, still good. In fact, a lot of people want to see it as a. For example, feature. there's a, there's like the inciting incident, which is kind of a the filmmaking term for the moment in a film near the beginning. Yeah. After the beginning section where like the action starts, to, like the action gets kicked mm -hmm. off. You know, for example, as the one that when she falls down the yeah. rabbit hole, that's like the inciting incident. Um, and so in Marvin, the inciting incident is when uh, Matthew, the, the lab guy, tells mm -hmm. your character, Stephen, that there might be a problem. Yeah. That's inciting the incident. And then yeah. there's a slight building of tension in the scene after where you talk to John. Yeah. And then... Very good, you escalated that. And then after that, immediately there's the payoff. Yeah. That's, that's, one, of the, that's one of the problems, but it's like, there's no really way around it other than make it longer. Mm -hmm. uh, you should have something in the middle. Where people are more like they they're gonna think about and they're gonna have some more like scenes where the t tension is building more and there's some conflict maybe like mm, this you know there's some questioning yeah uh, by part of the public from part of the public and yeah in a way it's like this big build of tension and then the payoff immediately mm -hmm. you know what I mean and uh, but I think it still works how do you think Marvin came across like the actual portrayal of Marvin is that. I think John did a, like a really good job yeah, yeah, in it. Um, he's very, he's very like he's very uh, professional. Yeah, very good. Yeah, at that. Like, and so Marvin, like, what did you want to be like expressed with Marvin, the character? Yeah, like in his transition. Like, and uh, how do you feel that transition like was from like from? Because that's a very difficult thing to do, you know. Yeah. Well, the thing about Marvin is that the transition. Uh, and the, who the was character? Marvin? Yeah, who would he? Who did he ultimately become? Uh, well, you, well, you go from this guy who's like basically Stephen's friend, yeah, like your childhood friend, mm -hmm. and the transition as it's okay as it's portrayed on film is one thing, but as it actually happened is like sudden. Mm -hmm. So once it got installed yeah. in him, he immediately yeah. became Marvin, but he just kept his cool, like without raising any suspicion. I see, I see. So he. I think from, from the point of view of uh, performance, although I'm not him, so I can't really speak on his behalf, yeah. but I think you just have to play yourself, Yeah. right? Yeah. Because if the, if the AI is that smart as to not raise any suspicion... Yes, yes, yes. You know, it wouldn't... Yeah, so, yeah and so the way John did it and the way it was is that uh, Marvin very gradually started to uh, show signs, small signs of... Yeah, like... Uh, Especially, yeah, like the party scene was a fun. Ro robot, robotic and a, a more of a, a sociopathic kind of tendencies where yes. it's more, that, more, more That's more expressed in that, humanity. In that, yeah, in that scene where you, you meet him after the inciting incident and yeah. he starts talking to you. At the beginning it's fine, then he asks like, where were you? He starts getting a bit, like, asking too many questions and you're like, what? So yeah. that's kind of the transitional scene. Yeah. Then so after that immediately you see the scene where he shoots Matt. So it's like, you immediately know there's something up. And then when he goes back home, and uh, you're like you're waiting for something to happen, and there you can see 
uh, him trying to subdue his murderous like personality because mm -hmm. he's like hey what's up you know he's just been cool yeah but at the same time you can see it's fake it's fake it's like pretty fake he's just putting on a show yes 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 and you did that very well as well yes you yes, yes. Well. and so yeah there is some transition in there but as a as actually marvin as a character it was sudden transition it's just yeah. a, a matter of hiding the fact that yeah. he became murdered. So, in, in, yeah. So, in, in the scene itself, it was an immediate boom. Yeah. He puts on the helmet. Exactly. Dum, he's gone. Yeah. And then the audience can witness like the subtle signs of, yeah, yeah, yeah. of John, exactly. the, the character. You know, Stephen, like it's, no, sorry, Dennis, slowly losing his um, humanity. And it's interesting the way John, you know, portrayed it, and the way that you directed it in that, like, the small, you know noticeable points uh -huh. and there's some very cool scenes in there with john and, and the gun and some of the things you did which was there was a silencer yeah like a one point classic <laughs> <laughs> that's a really cool shot it's you had like and how a, did you do that again yeah i used my i used the uh, okay so basically we got this plastic bottle and uh, i i didn't want to use a typical silencer yeah what one to show that's kind of like a homemade kind of yeah uh, idea that he had like a homemade mm -hmm. contraption and second because just to add some smoke effects uh, yeah it's cool man get a smoke effect yeah, yeah so i use like this vapor and <laughs> <laughs> nice. i use this vapor and so it was actual smoke you know right. that was cool uh, it worked that's good yeah that's good it's good all right man yeah so uh what we're going to do is we're going to put the link below for Marvin so you can check it out and yeah Marvin you can watch it right now link is down below or annotation somewhere around here yeah. right on the screen so like an annotation like here, over there here, somewhere or, in this area or, or just this. yeah it's probably over there yeah, yeah it's somewhere and uh, just look for it check it out and James man I want to thank you again it's no been problem. really good yeah thank you uh, for you and thank you for doing the film everyone loved it thank you for being in it really, man really good job thanks for inviting me dude really appreciate it <laughs> We all liked it, and uh, thanks, dude. And uh, so, yeah, that's James Cazelli and Marvin, up and coming director over here. Hopefully, yeah, and all around good guy. So, thank you very much. Keep tuned. Check the link. Down there, down there. Check it out, guys. Check Bye. it out now. <laughs>